Well, good morning, Van Life fans. I'm going to talk today in August of 2023 about one of the downsides of van life. As, uh, as you can see, we have the interior of our van in the garage because we had a little boo-boo at the top of our van, took it into a body shop, and in order to fix it, they had to rip out everything. Well, we took out all of our stuff, but they still, they took down the ceiling and the lights, and it would have cost a little bit less if we had taken the ceiling down, but I didn't think they would need to do that. But anyway, here we are with the van bare again. And what we're gonna do today is to put it all back together and take you with us. So bear with us and we'll have it back together in uh, hopefully a day or so. that we wanted for a long time was a three-way switch 
for our lights above our headboard. So that's what we've got here. It's a three-way switch. That will go on the end of the the bike bench. And since we're not running 110 volts, this is all 12 volt circuits. We don't have to play by the rules for 110 volt low voltage practice. So that will go up on the end of the bench when we get done. Yeah, so take a look at what's going on here. We have installed the rest of the uh, wires, have everything in place, and we have the radio transmitter fastened on the side, and the batteries installed, and all the wires installed. All we have left is to put in the fuses and test it out. So we'll do that just before we put the uh, Put the cabinet in place. So the acid test, we're showing voltage and uh, I'm turning the lights on in the back and off and we can turn the back on down here. The three-way works and this light works. So we're just about all set. Now we just have to put the uh, cabinet back and then we can get the rest of the furniture in. Still day two of the refit um, of the uh, van, and uh, funny thing happened this morning. I put in the, uh, the cabinet along the side, and, uh, and had a little issue with my left ear. It's been feeling full for a long time, and I uh, was putting some drops in it, and I just went suddenly stone deaf in my left ear so off we went to the uh, uh, urgent care in Olympia and uh, uh, six and a half hours later um, and uh, a little bout with uh, some kind of high pressure powered irrigation and a uh, uh, little advice on care and keeping of one's ears we're back again and ready to uh, continue with the uh, loadout here and uh, of our refit, and uh, we'll get started on that.
And this is how we convert the truck back and forth between a camper and a cargo bin truck. Yeah, it's just these turnbuckles and D-rings. And there's the bed solid. things to go on is the uh, stove garage. But we're not going to take the stove on this trip because we have to be back before it gets cold enough to need it at night. So this is going to be extra storage. Uh, there we have it. And this is trapped by the door so we don't really need a latch. Ready for loadout. Good morning. It's day three. It's loadout day. Our refit's done. And so we have everything staged to go in the truck except for our uh, consumables. And uh, we're going to get started.